Hey everybody, it's Dan from Sager & Sons Automotive. And here today we have a 2019 Ford F350. And I wanna show you a little bit about the, um, the lane keeping system because on this vehicle, it, it knows if you're within solid lines and the dotted line. Right, and you can have this on or off. And on on this truck, for me, I've noticed that it's it's kind of obnoxious. It's a little annoying if I'm paying attention, or if if I'm not paying attention, I'm daydreaming, things like that. It kind of it just rattles the steering wheel. But even cuts in the road, like when they're doing road work, and there's a lot of construction out here in Idaho, there's there's lines in the road. And it'll, it'll sense that, and I'm not even outside of the line. It, it just, and I've changed the sensitivity, right? And for me, personally, I like it off. So let me go ahead and show you. You can change settings in here, and you can turn it on and off. And I want to go ahead and show you right now how to adjust the sensitivity and how to turn it on and off. Okay, so if we go to settings... Go to the steering wheel pad, and on the left-hand side, because the right hand is volume for the stereo and whatnot, go to the left-hand side, and you want to toggle all the way. This is for the F-350, 17, I believe, up to 22. You go to settings, right? Go to your right-hand side. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. You have your auto high beam blind spot, cross traffic, driver alert, we go down, pre-collision, cruise control, DTE, gauge selection, lane keeping system. We can go in there and we can go to alert sensitivity, low, normal, high. And if we change, if you toggle it off, you can kind of see, you know, if we, if we select normal, right? There's not much different, but you can actually watch the steering wheel. And it, when you're going over lines in the road, right? And there's lots of construction, unless Ford has some update to correct this issue, which I haven't seen come out yet, then it's super obnoxious because it, 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 it feels like an unbalanced tire just shaking your front end the whole damn time. So for me, let's get back out of there. Okay, go back, go back. For me, I like, if you look, here's the lane keeping system right here. You'll see these bars, right? On the F-350, you come up here. On the F-150, I believe it's down here on the center console. But right here, here's your lane keeping system. Right there. This one has the engine brake, which is kind of cool. But here's the lane keeping system. So if we toggle that on and off here, I'll show you. See, now it puts two little guided lines up. And when you're, when, when you're past a certain speed, they'll light up green. And next thing you know, if you're over a solid white, it will, um, or solid line, or if you're going over your line, it'll start chattering that steering wheel. It'll also do that if the C's cuts in the road or lines from a big saw cutting up the ground like there is on the 84 massively right now. And all day long I'm driving this thing and just, you know, I try to keep it on. I'm just so tired of it. It's it's gonna, <laughs> having an unbalanced wheel and the steering wheel always chattering like that, it's gonna just cause, you know, this whole assembly to prematurely wear out. I, I from what I've seen, you know, I just, I severely do not like this, this 
on this vehicle. So unless Ford has some updates that's cured all of these little glitches, then I really don't, I really don't enjoy having it on. So that being said, um, the, these two guided lines will light up green. And then as you go over the line, they'll turn red and it'll start chattering the steering wheel. Um, if you turn the turn signal on, right, then it'll go gray. It won't, it'll, it'll gray it out and it won't work because it's no, it knows you're changing lanes. So, but for me personally, I like to turn this guy off and just pay attention to driving down the road and not, not prematurely wear my steering coupler out and all the other pieces going up into the steering column and God knows how much this setup's going to be if, to, if you have to start buying parts for it. So anyway, that is the lane keeping assist feature on the Ford F-350. This one's a 2019. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found anything useful or helpful. We sure do appreciate it. Thanks and have a great day.